What is going on, buddy? Welcome back here today to another NBA 2K19 Rebuild Challenge. And today, we're doing the five-star system proficiency challenge. So this has been requested by probably a bunch of people in the last couple of weeks. I'm going to try to maybe throw up on the screen if I can find anybody's comment, because it might have been a while ago that people requested this. So, you know, coaching, I showed in every video, we're going to try to get a full five stars, which just means we have just an incredible team that just works in every different way. All right, so I'm going to randomly select what team we're going to be doing today. If it's the Warriors, I'm probably not going to do it. So I'm going to stop it in five, four, three, two, one. And if it's the Bucks, Pacers, or Heat, I'm also not going to do it because I've done rebuilds around those teams lately and we get the rockets that's actually perfect i haven't done a rockets rebuild in a minute so this is actually the perfect team to use okay this is interesting because what my mindset was like this challenge obviously you go to coaching there's a bunch of these overall system proficiencies we could do we're at four stars right now with seven seconds or less now chris paul and james harden fit this perfectly pg tucker not so much capella uh eh. gordon eh. so gordon uh capella is actually kind of nice now, obviously, D'Antoni's his seven seconds guy, which I needed. So my mindset was to get a defensive-minded coach and just get studs defensively. Like, try to get Gobert, Marcus Smart, Paul George, just, like, amazing def Roberson, just amazing defenders and try to go that route, which I might end up doing because Chris Paul is going to regress. Now, obviously, you can kind of put different players in here. We can see if somebody's different. Okay, how do I get to Tucker? There we go. Like, Green's a little bit better. Fareed is definitely better. Rivers, not so much. Nene, Ash, Shumpert. So you can see that you can edit this here. Like Farid's definitely the best. So we're going to try to get five stars and complete that bar. So now that we have James Harden, really my defensive mindset isn't going to really work out as he wins MVP. I don't really care for these playoffs because this has nothing to do with the challenge. Now, if Chris Paul starts regressing and maybe just doesn't fit the system as well. We'll definitely move on from that. Now, this could be like a year three panic move. If I just can't complete it, I can just go that defensive route. I was either going to do that or perimeter centric and just get a bunch of shooters, which we could still end up doing and changing D'Antoni's system because we could definitely edit that we'll end up finding out now we're in the conference finals i don't think we're gonna beat the warriors usually the warriors always win in the year one sim as okay we're up two to one tied two two three to two we get eliminated also if you guys have any rebuild challenges you really want to see on the channel let me know in the comment section below now the reason i put league meetings on is so i can get the lottery figured out there we go just so we can have the uh the update of lotto odds even though we're probably not going to be drafting high at all in this video now do we have our first round pick we do not. It goes to Cleveland. That was in the Iman Shumper, Brandon Knight kind of just whole ordeal at the deadline. Now let's go to the NBA draft. Daniel Gafford. Okay, don't draft him now. Hmm. So if you look at our system proficiency, Tucker, like we got to upgrade a power forward. Now I don't know if there's certain players, like if they have like a system proficiency of their own, it's really only a coaching thing. I'm going to look for that. Now, I don't think there is anything like, like that. Obviously, if we're going to go seven seconds or less, we're going to go all young guys. We can't really have vets. That's why Chris Paul is going to be a very interesting guy to even have in here. Like a perfect guy for seven seconds or less would be De'Aaron Fox, just given how quick he is. But yeah, it doesn't really look like you can find anything like that in here. So we're going to definitely roll with Chris Paul and Harden though. Capella, yes. But Chris Paul could end up getting traded. Now, I don't think I can move Chris Paul for... Whoa! Okay, if I get Ben Simmons, there's... What? Look at the star differential. Why would they do that? I might have to do that and then maybe try to flip Ben Simmons for De'Aaron Fox. You know what? I might have to do that. If I'm going to be getting... Okay, I'm sorry, Chris Paul. I love you. You're my favorite player in the NBA right now. Um, or just one of them, especially of all time. But I'm going to have to move you for this video. Because if I... Oh, now... Okay. Like, I want to see. Unless I can get uh, De'Aaron Fox straight up which I don't think is going to happen at all. I think we're going to do this trade because Chris Paul is going to start regressing. His overall is going to go down. His trade value is going to go down. Now, I'm going to try to see if this will work. Ben Simmons for Darren Fox. I think they'll do this. Okay. They want a first round pick and they'll give me Bogdanovich. Let's do this. I think Darren Fox has got to be the perfect guy for this system. Super quick. I don't know. I just think you have arguably the fastest player in the NBA on your team. This is going to work. So we pick up Darren Fox. Maybe lost that trade with Ben Simmons. Maybe won it. I don't know what you guys are going to think. Now, I would like a draft pick. So I don't know if Bogdanovich kind of fits our system here. Because I think it's just the starters that I really need. So Montres Harrell would be a guy that could just run up and down the floor. Definitely Alonzo Trier. Don't know if, man, TJ Warren, Yusuf Nurkic. Okay, I do like the Mantras Harrell pickup. Now, Nurkic would be kind of nice, but six mil, I'll take that. Because now we might have money for free agency. Now, rookie signings. 
Yeah, let's just go past here. We're not going to have a first round pick, and we don't have our first next year because that was in the De'Aaron Fox trade. Now, Isaiah Hardenstein, yeah, none of these guys are really going to fit us too well. Oh, I could probably still test this out, right? Oh, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, so I could do this throughout the offseason. So, obviously, Rivers, we're going to throw in... Okay, can I not throw in De'Aaron Fox right now? Uh, is he just not on our roster? Nice. Okay. Well, I can't throw in De'Aaron Fox, so that's kind of annoying. Now, yeah, I really don't know, like... Okay, actually, it kind of says it on the right. It creates plenty of early scoring opportunities. High tempo creates more shots for scorers. So definitely want kind of passers. Negatives, high tempo. Oh, that's just negatives of the system. Never mind. Now, Eric Gordon could move this guy for like a uh, like a younger guy. He is 30. Marcus Smart would be kind of interesting. I don't know if he would really work well in 7 seconds or less. Malik Monk might work pretty well in this. But I don't want to give up a first round pick is the thing. Mo Bamba, interesting. Aaron Holiday, Luke Kennard. Would be pretty interesting. Steven Adams, Rocco. We can get two firsts from the Warriors. All right. Marcus Smart, this is an interesting trade. Uh, we can get two firsts here from the Clippers. But, oh, that is the Miami Unprotected first, which is a pretty nice deal. Now, Malik Monk, I kind of want. Um, but they're not going to be able to afford it. Oh, well. So, I could do this Clippers trade. And we're just going to clear up 14 mil. You know what? I'm going to do that because we get that Miami 2021 pick. That could be used. Uh, who knows? They can get Klay Thompson. But speaking of Klay Thompson... I think that's a guy we should try to get if he's here. Okay. Um, so we do have enough for a max deal. I'm going to offer Clay Thompson a deal. And imagine we had Fox, Thompson, and Harden. Come on. That's got to be pretty good. So let's offer him this. And is this going to be in his top three? Let's go. So we can pick him up. And I think that would probably be the case here because I don't think I would get KD or Kyrie. And I think Clay would fit this system better than Kawhi. So we pick up Clay. We're going to have to read out some rights on everybody. So our bench throughout this video is going to be pretty cheeks. Now, we get Clay. I'm going to move him to the small forward position because we obviously have James Harden at the shooting guard. Now, it's just a power forward. Like, obviously, Harold could be there. Imagine I completed this, like, right away. I don't think it's going to be that easy, though. So, I can't check that out now. Now, how many guys do we have? One, two, three. Uh, oh, I moved Harden to small forward. I messed that up. So, we would have six guys. We would have six guys. I got to sign three more dudes. JJ Barea, I think, would be pretty good. So, I'm going to offer him a two-year deal. Uh, do we get JJ? There we go. We get JJ Barea. Let's get another shooting guard. We can grab like Tony Allen. Sure. Now, okay, he signs with the Warriors. Thanks a lot. Uh, what about center? Uh, power forwards, Luke Babbitt, Kuzminkis. We can get Mike Scott. He's not too bad. And then we can maybe pick up like an Omer Caspi, like another shooter. So we get both of those guys and I still can't. Oh, can I check out the system proficiency? Damn. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, so power forward. Clay, we're still at a four. All right, so Montrez Harold does not fit the system at all, so we might move Montrez. Now, I'm not too sure. Maybe John Collins would work pretty well. This would only cost me a first tier, and we get Alex Lennon, who's definitely an upgrade. Olenek, because he could shoot Buddy Heal. That would honestly be good, but I'm not playing Clay at power forward. Brandon Ingram, interesting to play at the four. Isaac, would Isaac work? Michael Porter Jr., RJ Barrett. RJ Barrett, damn, that's a nice offer. I don't know who I want here. Dario Sartre. See, like, I have no idea who do I think would fit well. I think it would be like, okay, I'm going to do this for John Collins because we're also going to get Alex Wen out of this. Now, please tell me Collins fits this pretty well because if he doesn't, this is going to hurt. Um, Collins. Okay. He, okay, that puts us at four and a half stars. It looks like Clay's or like Fox is the odd man or Capella. Okay, we're getting there, though. I think Zion, honestly, would have obviously been a really good fit here. So, we're at four and a half stars, which is obviously solid. Now, I don't know. Do I move? I gave Clay no trade clause, but if it's the video, I'll obviously take it off. Like, it's not that big of a deal. But I don't know if Clay's the odd man out or it's Clint Capella. See, like, I don't want to trade Clint Capella away for a center I think will work. And then it doesn't. And it's just like, damn, I regret that a lot. So, on top potential, uh, we'll, we'll just send, like, Fox and Collins. I don't really care for this too much. Like, I have no idea. Who's the fastest center in the NBA? Like, obviously, we can go by youth here. Um, can I can I do this by... There's no, like, speed option here, like, to see... Actually, you know what we could do? If we went to player option or uh, player finder, excuse me, we went to this. Can we sort this by, like, speed? No. But we could definitely go into grades or attributes. Attributes and find out their speed. And that's what I think could maybe work. I don't know. So he's got 80. He's got an 82. Definitely not getting him. Uh, we Cat is going to be really hard to get. Uh, Capella is a 66. So we can definitely upgrade that. DeAndre Aiden, I wish. But he's just hard to trade for. Hassan White sets a 72. Damn. Okay. Ennis Cannon. Who's this? Jared Allen. That might be somebody we have to try out. Uh, Jared Allen. 
Okay. You know what? I'm going to try to trade for Jared Allen. Now, let's see. So, I, I'm going to try to do it without giving up my top five. Because Allen, I don't really think has that much trade value in this game where he's that hard to trade for. Like, I don't want to give up the Miami pick, but we'll see what happens. So, I'd have to give up a first and a nay. Okay. What about... Yeah, I don't want to... Oh. You know what? We'll do that. We'll, we'll give up the Miami pick. Screw it. So, please tell me maybe he fits better. Now, we're at four and a half stars. Alex Lund brings it down to four. And Jared Allen... Oh, he's not here yet. Okay, hold on. Maybe that's a little glitch. All right, let's see if he's here now. Jared Allen. Oh, definitely better than Capella, but still not there. Now, we could look for a better upgrade over John Collins. Clay is a little low on his list. Like, definitely Fox and Harden are here to stay. Uh, Allen's pretty nice. So, is Clay's speed just not that good? Maybe, maybe it's all about speed is what I'm going to guess it is. Now, his speed is at a... Did I pass it? Probably passed it. It is at a... Where the hell is speed? Okay, Clay speed's at a 76. So we could probably find another small forward that definitely is higher than a 76. Now, I don't think I'm going to trade Clay for them. Um, so we'll just see. Uh, so where's speed? 91. Giannis says 91. LeBron, okay. I got to obviously get into the dudes I could trade for. DeRozan, 83. Wiggins, 85. Maybe I got to get Wiggins. 83 for Gordon. Gordon, okay. 83 for Jay Rich. Is there like a nine, a sneaky 90 down here? Or is, ooh, Nazir Whittle at 86. What would it cost him to get Nazir Whittle? Because if I could do that for, do I trade Clint Capella for him? Do I trade Clint Capella for Nazir Whittle? Um, do I trade Clint Capella? Because obviously Jared Allen, okay. Uh, we might have to wait till the next offseason where people will have cap space. And then who was the other guy that I mentioned? Was it, um... Oh, it was Wiggins, right? Now, okay. Uh, would they do... Do I trade Clay for Wiggins? I have... Like, that's the point of the video. Like, I don't really need Clay that much. So, you know, I'm going to try to move Clay for Wiggins. I mean, it'll work. All right, so I'm going to try to move Clay for Wiggins. Obviously, this is a huge downgrade, but maybe could I steal somebody else out of this? Give me Sarge, and I'll give you Alex Len. Please let me do this. And I'll give you two second round picks. There we go. Okay. So I, I stole Sarge out of that, which is pretty clean. Now, if we went to uh, system proficiency and we threw Wiggins. Damn it. Oh, he was kind of. Oh, that was an L. That didn't work out too well. Oh, wait. Damn it. Damn, Wiggins wasn't that good. All right. I'm going to definitely try to get Nazir Whittle. Can I get him now for maybe Sarge? Yeah, no shot. It kind of hurts that, like. I mean, I'm not going to throw Allen in here. Can I throw. All right, we're going to probably have to wait till the offseason, but we're at four and a half stars. We're getting there. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, so we end the season. Harden wins MVP. We go 59 and 23. We don't get coach of the year, which is fine. Harden, all NBA first team. And I don't think we're going to get anybody else. But obviously being at four and a half stars, that's the only thing I matter or that matters that I care about. I really don't care if we win it all. If we do, cool. If we don't, whatever. Still got to go into the offseason and figure out what we're doing. But, hey, we might win it all. Swept the Lakers in round one. Now, we're taking on the Kings, who have Ben Simmons, Buddy Heald, Bagley, because, obviously, we traded De'Aaron, or Ben Simmons for De'Aaron Fox. We're currently up 2-1 to one on them. We are up 3-1, to one, and we win in five. Now, we got the Thunder here. We win one of Westbrook. That would be the, like, imagine we had Westbrook, Harden, and Fox. Ooh, that is filthy. So, I don't know if I'm going to move Wiggins. I think Nazir Widow might be a good addition. And game seven, we beat them. Now, the Bulls are in the finals. All right, you know what? I kind of want to play if we're going to win the finals now just to get you guys some gameplay because we might never make it back here again. So, yeah, we're about to win the fun. Oh, no. Yeah, we're about to win. I'll see you guys in the game for just a little bit of gameplay. So we're in the game. I never get to use James Harden. Tell me he's in. Oh, my God. Dario Sarge is in a shooting guard. Yeah, that's the guy I really wanted to play shooting guard with. Just foul, please. All right, Wiggins at nine points. Wow, Wiggins. Great uh, contribution here. Capella with the steel Collins. Uh, Harden cherry picking, you know, you know. Yams that down 30 points, seven rebounds, eight assists for the beard here in game. What is this? This is game oh five. I was about to say game seven. Uh, definitely not. Fox 18 points, 10 assists. Like to see that. Levine, yeah, you're not going anywhere. B plus perimeter D for Fox. Yeah, Levine, what are you doing? Yeah, you're not hitting that, Levine. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, let's run. We're what are we seven seconds or less, right? I kind of just want to use Harden. Stop. All right, Harden, let's run it. Harden's got a plus three. Oh. Oh, 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 Harden. Oh, it's too easy. It's too easy with Harden. Bro. Pella with the sick block. Let's kick it up to Harden again. Harden. Oh, I want to shoot a three with Harden here. Uh, who is guard? Oh, no one's guarding me. All right, Harden. Money. Cash. All right, so we win it all. James Harden was your finals MVP. Now, we can go back to more 
kind of important things and trying to get that fifth star here. So obviously, like I'll keep showing you, we're at four and a half. <sighs> All right, so Fox isn't the weak link, neither is Harden. It looks like Wiggins is pretty low or, wait, Allen. Okay, so I think Wiggins is the guy we would have to upgrade here. Uh, so we'll figure that out on who we're gonna move Wiggins for. Like I said, maybe Nazar Whittle, just somebody with more speed, maybe a little bit younger than Wiggins. Do we have a pick in the draft? He'd have the number one pick, so we kind of traded away that pick uh, for next year. Obviously, let's bring back D'Antonio. This is just going to be annoying. Um, and we'll get an assistant coach who's also um, a triangle. Now, all right, I'm going to get an assistant coach, and maybe if I move that assistant coach to seven seconds, that will also, you know what, maybe increase things. All right, so yeah, I just made Trent Peterson seven seconds or less. I don't think that's going to change anything. He has still four and a half stars. All right. So, Allen, right? Yeah, Allen's definitely better. So, Col it's definitely our forward spot. Collins and Wiggins, we would have to upgrade. Now, Wiggins is... Okay. Now, say I move JJ Brea and that Clippers first. I don't know if that Clippers first is going to have any... Ooh, it's two stars. All right. I don't think this is still going to be able to land me. Nazir Whittle. Hachimura would be interesting, but I feel like he'd be a little too slow. Like, I don't think Hachimura is that fast, like, in real life. So, in this game, I don't think he's going to be... Eh, 85. That's not bad. Like... Obviously, Giannis at 91 would be, like, one of the most perfect fits ever, but that's going to be impossible to get. What about Cam Reddish? Can we get... Is Cam Reddish quick? Is Cam Reddish quick? 84. All right. What was Nazir Whittle? All right. Wiggins was an 86, so I really don't know what I want to do here. Like, yeah, we could try to move Wiggins and just, like, Levine. We could play Levine at the three. I mean, that wouldn't be a terror... Or play Harden at the three. That wouldn't be really a bad idea, honestly. Okay, so obviously I can get Whittle, or I can get, yeah, for Wiggins, but I don't even know if that's a good idea. Richardson, I remember, was pretty fast. Kemba, I mean, obviously we can put Kemba at the two. I'm trying to think here. All right, you know what? I kind of like the Levine pickup. All right, we're going to pick up Levine, and we'll see if this does anything. So what I'm going to do is move hard into small forward, and Levine will be the shooting guard. Now let's go to uh, system proficiency. <laughs> obviously, uh, Allen will be there. Harden. No, I want it to be uh, Levine. Where's Levine? All right, every time I go to system proficiency, Levine just doesn't come up. So let's obviously bring back those three guys. Now, if I go to system proficiency, please tell me Levine comes up. Bro, damn it. I, I Like, Ron Baker's up. Obviously, Harden there. Um, yeah, there's nobody here that will make it four and a half stars. So hopefully, Levine will figure that out. Now, I don't know what I want to do. I really don't. Like, honestly, like, trading Capella could be a move for another wing player because clearly Jared Allen's a better fit in the seven seconds or less kind of persona. So we could go, like, a mobile. Like, I would honestly want to get a wing player. Like, honestly, like, on the whole ball. We could just try to get Nazir Little for him and maybe somebody else. Um, I know Boston currently. You know what? I'm going to do that. We're going to trade Capella to Boston. We're going to pick up Little. And can I pick up, like somebody else uh they have blake griffin give me marcus smart they're not gonna do that i would have to throw in the la pick all right i just want to see like what this would look like if freaking zach Levine would be able to be in here but he's not like oh that's so annoying are we gonna have any money for free agency um definitely want to bring back sarge he's gonna cost a pretty penny i don't think we're gonna have money actually what anthony davis is an oh my god oh my god hold on oh my god okay what what Anthony Davis is an unrestricted free agent, but who knows if I... I don't even know if I want to trade anybody away, because who knows if I'll even get him. All right, Sarge's cap hold is what? I isn't it pretty cheap? Oh, my God. I've never seen that before. Um, he usually just resigns with the Pels. All right. So, we could move Capella, and we would have to move, like, full EC. Okay. You know what? We could, we could honestly get this done. Hold on. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a first-round pick from the Spurs for Beret and Felicio that clears up 12 mil. Uh, I don't think it's going to be possible for us to pick up capella i really don't i wish i could really see where zach levine was in the system proficiency because then i can know if i want to trade him or not because i think anthony davis would be an insane fit but even if i move capella and levine i don't even think like i can find a trade where i'm still getting two really good assets back where i could still be able to afford my kuzma uh uh russell actually i think russell would be a better fit than levine i might actually go back to that later on but i don't think we're gonna be able to pick up anthony davis which freaking sucks do we have any cap space whatsoever just so I can get, like, another asset? And it's Canner. Bruh. Yeah, not gonna happen. All right. Yeah, we're screwed. So let me not renounce the rights on Sarch, who is a restricted free agent, though. So it is whatever. Uh, that kind of sucks. Where did AD? He's a Grizzly. Wow. I hope I start seeing him more in free agency in year two because that would just make these so much more entertaining. So we pick up Sarch. I'll see. Wait, what? What, what did I just get Sarch back on? 
Oh my god, it was a one-year deal. Great. All right, so we're just advancing till the next season, and then we're gonna see what this can do. Like I said, I do like this. Maybe the um. Damn it, oh, we're still at three. Damn, Levine fit pretty well. Oh wait, if I put Allen in, damn, how is that not? All right, Fox fits it up. All right, I guess Collins is the man out. All right, we can maybe move. I saw like Kyle Kuzma, maybe, but Collins is really freaking good. Um, Kyle Kuzma maybe because he could shoot. Like that's the only thing I'm maybe thinking of. Uh, why is Collins should be definitely three stars. I I think Kuzma would be an interesting option. Obviously, like Chris Stops, Jaron Jackson Jr. would be kind of sweet, but I don't think I can trade John Collins for Jaron Jackson Jr. What about that Clippers pick I have? And I'll throw you, I apparently have a Spurs first. Okay, so we got Jaron Jackson Jr. I'm throwing away all my assets, so please, just get me to the fifth star. Um, all right, so who, uh, I'm gonna move Capella to Allen, and then move Sarge to Jackson Jr. Where is Jackson Jr.? No, oh my god, Jackson Jr. is a terrible fit. Never mind, that was dumb. <laughs> Never mind to that. Jackson, I just gave up that first round pick for nothing. Jackson Jr. sucks. All right, what can I get for Jackson Jr. and Sarge? Because I just need the starting five to be good. I don't need the bench to be good at all. We already just won a ring, so I can care less about that. Tobias Harris. But I don't want to also give up Clint Capella in that as well. But Tobias Harris, Bagley... I'd have to go up another first. You think Bagley would be any better than Jackson Jr.? I don't know. I still like that that uh, Kuzma ideal. Where's Kuzma at? Please tell me he doesn't have a big deal either. Okay, good. Kuzma for Jaron Jackson Jr. Uh, the Lakers would acquire two mil. And you can also throw me, I don't know, Charles Bassey. Uh, they would want Roddy Magruder. Let's make that done. Or let's make that deal. Now, hopefully, please tell me Kuzma fits this better. And then we can maybe think about, I don't know. Um, so obviously, damn, Kuzma's not, damn, so John Collins was by far the best fit we had, and I traded that away. Crap, why isn't Kuzma a good fit? Why was John Collins the best fit? All right, what, let's go to power forwards. Let's go to, um, playmaking at least a C. Let's go to three-point shooting at least a C. And let's go perimeter D at least a C. <laughs> of course, it's Kuzma. All right, never mind of that. I don't know who do I want. Unless, you know what? Maybe we should go with small forward says power forward. Let's just do that. Clay, right? But I wouldn't put Clay at the four. I don't know who I would want. Michael Porter Jr.? Maybe. Maybe. Who do I have at power forward right now? I forget. Oh, Kuzma. Could I get Michael Porter Jr. for Kuzma? Oh, perfect. Perfect swap. Let's see if Porter Jr. works. So Capella, all right. Obviously, Allen is a lot better fit. And Michael Porter Jr., oh, he's not that good. All right, what about Capella? Damn. I'm trying to think. All right, you know what? I'm probably just gonna simulate one more year and give it one more shot at it and see if it will maybe work. All right, guys, so we're here at the end of the season. Anthony Davis of the Memphis Grizzlies wins MVP. Now, I'm gonna do one more attempt at this in the offseason and we'll see what we do. And if I don't complete it, then I'm just gonna do something on my own where I'm just gonna get a defensive coach and just put trade override, trade for like the best defenders in the league and see if it's even possible to get five star system proficiency. Harding gets on bay first team, shout out to him. And that's the only one we get. So we are the two seed in the playoffs. Like I said, I don't really care for this that much. Um, this is actually a different day. I'm recording this. This is the day after. So, yeah, we do have Harden who completes it really well. So does Levine. So does Fox. So does Allen. Maybe I should have kept John Collins. Maybe I'm going to go trade for him again. And maybe you could just develop them in your system. So, maybe over time they're just not that good in your system. And they maybe adapt to it. I don't know. But we're taking on Dallas here in round one. We beat them. Um, actually, I'll show you guys the stats. And kind of maybe if you're curious to see real quick. So, obviously Harden is a god. And then we have Levine, Fox, Porter Jr., Capella. I am starting Jared Allen because he fits our system better. Now, I might have to trade Clint Capella in the offseason. I mean, I don't really need him. Because clearly Jared Allen's a better fit. As we are about to sweep the Pelicans and we're moving on to the Western Conference Finals being 8-0 in the playoffs. Now we're taking on the Thunder and they give us our first L, our second L, and we are going to tie this up 2-2. Two 3-2 two, to two us and do we win the series? We're going to a Game 7 and we're going to the Finals again. And are we going to beat the 5 seeded Nets? We probably are. And the Rockets are back-to-back -back final champion. Harden's your finals MVP. It annoys me that when I'm not even trying to win it all, I can care less about team success. We win it all. But when I try so hard and like that Pacers historic rebuild I uploaded yesterday, it took me five years to win a championship. So the Heat pick that we ended up having at one point ended up being pick seven. So it wasn't the worst thing in the world. But I think that Grizzlies Clippers pick, oh, we could have had that. Uh, we don't even have our pick. The Hawks have it at 30. Now, staff signing, obviously, we'll keep D'Antoni. 
Uh, we'll just get a better trainer, which I can literally care less for. So obviously it's the power forward position we really need to upgrade. Like it's it's Michael Porter Jr. <sighs> Maybe like Marvin Bagley. I'm trying to think. Like there's definitely a player just out there that I just can't even think. Like it's an obvious pick, but I just can't think of. Like obviously I liked Harold, but clearly he didn't work out. We tried that. Uh, like maybe Marvin Bagley, maybe Aaron Gordon. Do I do this trade? Pick up Aaron Gordon. Maybe he would fit it pretty well. I don't know. Um, I, I really don't know. All right, so I'm advancing to team player options here. Now, let's see. Since Michael Porter Jr. isn't the best fit in the world, what can I get for him and Charles Bassey? Sexton, I need a power forward. Theo Maladin, Miles Bridges. There we go. I'm going to do that trade, Marvin Bagley. All right, uh, yeah, give me Marvin Bagley for Michael Porter Jr. And I, he's got to be a better fit, right? It's going to be annoying because it won't let me do that now, but, like, it, it's got to be a better fit. Damn, like, even with, oh, this is so, oh, Bagley, do, hold on. Um, what am I want to do here? Uh, let's put Bagley in here. Okay, that puts us a four and a half. Damn, how, how is that not five stars? I, that, like it's not much better than that. I can't do much better than that. So what my mindset is, I'll simulate it one more year, and see if it matters. Like uh, it's a progression system, and you gotta wait a little bit. So I do want to bring back all three of these dudes, uh, just in case. I don't know. Um, actually, I don't even need to offer Jared Allen a deal because he's a restricted free agent. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm just gonna wait till they get a deal from another team, and then I'll just match it. So taking a look at the team, obviously we are gonna keep rolling with Jared Allen as the starting center, just because he's clearly been a better fit in our system proficiency tab. Now I don't know if maybe I gotta do something with the minutes. Maybe I gotta give them more minutes. I don't know. But what do I? How is that not five stars? Clearly Bagley's the weak link here. But you know what? I'm going to give it a year. This will be the final year. We'll see at the end of the year if we can complete the five-star challenge. And if I don't complete it, I'm just going to kind of tear it down. Uh, just throw on trade override and just actually see if it's possible. And I'm going to get, like, I'll probably fire D'Antoni, hire a defensive coach or change his scheme to defense. And then I'll just trade for, like, Smart, Anthony Davis, Joel Embiid, uh, Clay Thompson, Jimmy Baller. You get the idea. Okay, we're finishing up the regular season. And it's looking like we're not going to hit five stars. I guess it's Bagley, but I don't know how close Bagley's got to be. Like, everybody else fits this so well. Why doesn't Bagley fit the system? I'm trying. Like, we've tried Jaron Jackson Jr. We've tried Bagley. We've tried John Collins. We've tried Kuzma. We've tried Saric. We, like, we tried Montrez Harrell. We tried Clint Capella. It's just I don't know what other young power forward that we need. Because clearly it's got to be a young power forward. I can't throw Dirk out there and it's going to work with seven seconds or less. So I'm quite upset we weren't able to complete it with this Rockets team. Yeah, um, damn, that's, that's speed. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, like, I, I lost the challenge, I guess. Now, maybe this would have been easier if I did defense or perimeter-centric where I could just got shooters or just defensive-minded players, and I just chose the seven seconds or less route because we had Harden. So maybe I should have did perimeter-centric. Who knows? Uh, but I'm going to probably... Um, maybe mess around, just try to put trade override and just see what power forward would have worked best. And then I'll probably also try to, uh, see if it, it's actually possible to get five stars. Um, and I'll probably just get like a defensive minded coach and then just five stud defenders. So we do lose in the Western Conference final to the Kings and the Hawks beat the Kings in four. Not a surprise we have our first round pick after all this. So do I want to keep D'Antoni? Um, what's like Brad's, uh, Brad Stevens' defense? All right. Um, am I giving up on D'Antoni? Probably for now. Yeah, just couldn't complete it. Uh, whatever. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fire D'Antoni. I hope I have enough money to do this or this is going to be really embarrassing. Um, and I'm going to try to hire Brad Stevens. Perfect. We have enough money. And um, if, yeah, uh, just Brad Stevens sign with me. Thank you. So I'm just going to test this out defensive wise. Um, but actually, you know what I might do? I might just change Stevens to seven seconds. And yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. So I'll see you guys at the start of next year's season. I'm not going to do any drafting or probably trading right now because it is a little wonky here um, in the offseason to see your system proficiency. Um, and yeah, you can see they all kind of drop when you go do this. So I'll figure this out. Um, like, let me, yeah, I'll hold on. Okay, so the coach actually matters because I changed uh, Brad Stevens to seven seconds and it only has me at four, not even four and a half. Which hurts, honestly. That hurts a lot. Um, whatever. Uh, so I, I guess I'll figure it out uh, what I want to do here. 
Yeah, because definitely seven seconds or less was the move. Okay, I just traded for two power forwards just to see if they fit the system better. One being Chris Stops, the other one being Zion. Um, I, yeah, I obviously threw one trade override. So let's see. If th okay, so Capella, I'm at, um, all right. Wow. Th how is that not five stars? How is that not even four and a half? Does it have to do something with my coach? I guess it does. All right, what was Stevens originally? He was defense. So you know what? Screw that. I want to see if you can actually get um five stars so i'm gonna move or i'm gonna change this back to defense so defense is what we're gonna be doing capella fits it pretty well Harden, i gotta trade Levine, i gotta trade chris stops i probably gotta trade uh zion fits it well so you know we'll keep zion and capella for now what about alan is alan good no alan's not a good fit all right so i'm gonna trade fox Levine, and Harden for like the three best perimeter defenders that i can get okay so i just traded for Kawhi leonard victor oladipo giant uh Dejante murray and i just traded for anthony davis and zion was already one of the best defenders in the league so let's see if it's even possible this would be five stars because if this isn't all right defense this isn't even five stars wait what about if i put murray here no how is how is that not five stars See, I don't get this. Is it even possible to get a five-star system proficiency rebuild or get five stars? Let me know in the comments because why does it say... Wait, hold on. Why does it say active system? Damn. Yeah, I don't know. How is that for an... I don't even know if it's possible. So let me know in the comments if it is. Thank you all for watching. I failed the challenge. I tried my best, but I just couldn't complete it. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Let me know other challenges you want in the comments below. And also let me know if I was just doing something wrong because there's probably a good chance I did. So thank you all for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.